Yo, so guys, on this amazing episode, we will be touring Kisi Town. Of course, how can I come to the village and not take you guys to my village town? How? So guys, in case you don't know, Kisi Town is actually the largest town in Kisi County. So that's we, that's where we are actually headed to. And it is situated in the western part of Kenya. So actually, Kisi, Kisi County itself, it is situated in the west southwestern part of Kenya. Did you get that? Southwest part of Kenya. And it is also located in the highlands of western Kenya. So guys, in case you are wondering, of course, as the names as the town suggests kisi town obviously you know the people who stay here the majority of the people who stay in this town or area are the kisi people who are also known as the gusi or the abagusi which is actually a bantu ethnic group yeah that is actually my tribe and i'm so proud of it you guys can see from the views this place is actually located in between hills and mountains, hills and valleys. Well, at this point, I'm not sure if I should continue saying Kisis or my tribe or I don't know. But anyway, Kisis or my tribe are believed to have migrated to like this present home, like where we are right now, where you the, these views that you guys are having, like this place. They are they are believed to have migrated to their present homeland, which I personally call it the the land of milk and honey. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm in heaven when I come back to the village, guys, because life is so cool. They are actually believed to have migrated from a neighbor the neighboring areas, which is uh the Congo Basin, uh during the Bantu immigration. The Bantu migration, yeah. I just feel like we are now going. We are. I just feel like we are in a history class. So I'm trying to give you a history of my my tribe, yeah. So it is believed that uh, we migrated from the neighboring countries, neighboring country which is the Congo. I believe all the Bantus came from from Congo, the Congo Basin. Um, yeah. So guys, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. You can see these are among the things that you will be seeing. This is Kise University. And a lot of uh, educational institutions are along this road. I don't know why, but guys, by the way, did I mention this is actually the main entrance? Uh, I think this this road is called... I was almost saying Barabara, which means a road. This road is uh, the Nairobi, Kisi. I don't know where it connects to, but when you come from Nairobi, this is the only route you can use to like get to Kisi Town. Yeah, from Nairobi, Narok, and then Kisi Town. Guys, this is an international school called Kisi School. Very proud of it. So yes, as I was telling you guys, we migrated from the Congo Basin during the Bantu migration that took place like several, several centuries ago. So the this migration, with this migration, it like drove some factors such as pop it was like for, uh, for 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 the people to like migrate to for the for the kisses to migrate to and settle to kisi town or ki the kisi 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 county i'm even confused i think this history class should now <laughs> come to an end but anyway guys the mi migration was driven by some factors i.e population pressure people wanted to like search for, for fertile lands you guys can even tell from how green this place looks like. Mm? Fertile land, uh, climate change, among many, 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 many other factors. So guys, we are approaching the town. You guys can see that is a polytechnic over there. We've seen a university over there. That means educational institutions, i.e. primary schools, uh, secondary schools, universities, are in this small town imagine that let's talk about transport guys before we even go too far okay not to beat like my own trumpet but guys the roads in kisi town are amazing 
they are all amazing but the only thing that i don't like about my county or my my town or my city is the fact that okay let's talk about the matatus that's where they draw the line guys you can like be in one matatu that carries 14 people but you guys are 37 in that matatu but you know what that is just life in the village so guys we will be exploring this and some of the activities we are like likely to see uh maybe on the streets as we walk around already we've seen the educational institution you guys have seen as we as we were entering the town the roads how good the road is of course you guys the roads were amazing they are amazing right comment down below let me know what you think about this video i just can't wait to like be on my feet and explore it with you all well i'm so excited to be back here in some years now and oh so guys let's see in this video just what you you guys will be seeing maybe f some of you it will be your first time seeing kisi county and some of you guys can concur with me in this video will you will see over years kisi town has experienced an urban development with improvement in inf infrastructures i.e the markets guys and all this development actually reflects the town's growing importance and regional center wait a minute let me tell you guys you know i've actually muted this video because all these motorbikes over here were having sda songs if you don't know sda that means seventh day adventist church which is actually a church that is mostly gone by by kissy people kisses or something of the sorts anyway guys Let's dive into Kisi Town's dynamic economic activities and contributions into the region's development, making it a notable urban center in the southern western part of Kenya. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Remember, sharing is caring. I hope you guys will enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed vlogging it for you. I'm so, so much excited to have come to Kisi Town to give you guys this amazing, amazing, amazing video. I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. I hope you do. I hope you do because... channel i know it's very noisy very very noisy i'm in the noisiest city or town in kenya well normally people usually say kisi are so noisy kisi are noisy people kisi people are noisy and right now i'm in kisi town and i want to take you through uh this town so that you guys can see what our village town looks like i hope you guys will enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and before I continue, to the new subscribers, my name is Nicolin Grace and thank you so much guys for stopping by to this channel, consider subscribing. So as I've told you guys, on today's video basically we're just going to like um, walk around the town so that you guys can see what Kisi Town looks like. Actually the main means of transport over here is motorbikes, there are a lot of motorbikes as you can see. This is where I'm standing, there is a petrol station over here. And this is the condition of this place. In fact, where I'm standing, it's a bit um, calm. There are no like a lot of people. It's not even noisy. So let's explore Kisi Town and let, let me know in the comment section what you, you think about our, our village town. Comment down below. Consider subscribing. That's the only way you get to support the content. So let's get going.
By the way guys, I spent like two years staying here in Kisi. So I know most, if not all parts of this town. Um, I schooled here from one and from two. And now we are back here after like four years later. That's so cool. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about our village town. This is what everything looks like. I think I should just take a border border so that it can be easier for me to explore this area uh, in a short period of time, okay? Yeah, I'm trying like, to avoid a lot of people. People are just looking at me like I'm really crazy. I'm not crazy. Ooh. There is a market over here. And then there are border borders on the other side. This is so cool. I love it here. that's it for the markets area anyway one day i'll look into it and take you to the biggest markets in kisi town right now i'm headed to the bus station where where people usually connect their matatus from one place to the other from nairobi to kisumu i mean nairobi to kisi or kisi to kisumu kisi to eldoret so this is the this is the bus station area Let's get going. It has actually rained. That's why you can see it's a bit chaotic. But let's get there. Let's get there. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog as much as I'm enjoying to record. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So guys, literally we are inside the bus station. I don't know if this bus area has like a specific name, but this is where you get like different type of matatus to connect to any place where you want to go. Yeah? Hmm. I'm enjoying vlogging inside these streets of Kisi Town. Camera. So 
cool. Hmm. Kiss town has actually changed in years. I don't actually remember the last time we were here. But I just love seeing everything changing. Hmm. This is just nice to see. You see guys, these cars have been written Kisi Nairobi, Nairobi Afia Center. So like you can connect even Mombasa. That's cool. It's a classic wow. Shivling. Wow. So guys, that's it for the bus station or where you can get the matatus. Let me just call them matatus. But have you realized there are no matatus over here? They only use Nissans and maybe the big buses. Yeah, that's it. By the way, this was the famous Nakuma. Uh, famous Tusky supermarket. But now it's called Shivli. Shivli supermarket. Hmm. Look at the roads here. I wish guys I had enough time I could have taken you to the Kisi Stadium and um, what else what else do we have here and maybe take you to kisi university so that you can you guys can see the university that we have here in kisi town but now i'm already tired i'm already tired i was thinking of taking a motorbike so that we can cover like a large area but that's not actually the plan anymore so let me go catch a matatu and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog this was so much fun to record Whew. see you guys in a few